from there as a parent. Uh -huh. Someone who is blessed, blessed are the poor in spirit. When you don't have money, but you have Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit. Ay, 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 eh? The kingdom of heaven is yours. <laughs> Number four. Blessed, in brackets, forgiven, comma, refreshed by God's grace, are those who mourn, who over their sins and repent. Ha! Ah, children, listen, if you don't want to repent, listen what happens. <laughs> the Bible is saying that blessed, in brackets, forgiven, comma, refreshed by God's grace, close the bracket, are those who mourn over their sins and repent. If your conscience is not clear, as in if you're never bothered when you sin children, just know you're not blessed. Let us see what happens to them. Blessed, number five, in, uh, number four, blessed, forgiven, refreshed by God's grace are those who mourn over their sins and repent for there they will be comforted. They will be comforted when the burden of sin is lifted. Ah, children, the Holy Spirit hugs you like this. After repenting, Esther has gone through repentance almost all her life. And do you know how happy I am after repenting? To, to the human eye, it showed like Naswala. But in God's eyes, oh, I am his favorite. He hugged me and said, it is okay. You made a mistake. It is okay you sinned. But now you've recognized that you sinned. And Holy Spirit hugged me like this. Some of you, it is your parents that do that. But guess what? Even our parents can decide to walk out. But the Holy Spirit never walks out. Children, never. If your parent ever disappoints you, just know the Holy Spirit does not disappoint us. Children, Holy Spirit, I was hugged when I repented. I was comforted, children. When you repent, when you make a mistake at home, make sure you say, Daddy, I, Mommy, I did this. I know you told us not to touch in your money, not to touch in our food, not to abuse ourselves. When the nanny tells us to do things, we accept and learn things. I am sorry, I did not. Your father and mother are going to forgive you and they are going to love you more than anything else. Try it, children. Number five, blessed inwardly, peacefully, comma, spiritually secure, worthy of respect are the gentle, the kind-hearted, the sweet-spirited, the self-controlled, for they will inherit the earth. Ah, children, do you want to inherit the earth? Try this out. The Bible says that blessed inwardly, peacefully, comma, spiritually secure, comma, you will be, you will have inwardly peace. The Bible says that peace I live, that is John 14 and verse 28, peace I give, not as the world gives. Peace that surpasses all understanding, children. <laughs> children, when you learn to read the word of God, you will be very happy. I am telling you. Hmm? Hey, <laughs> children, children. Number five said, blessed inwardly, peacefully, comma, spiritually, secure, comma, worthy of respect, are the gentle the kind-hearted, comma, the sweet-spirited, comma, the self-controlled, for they will inherit the earth. The Lord gives you the entire earth like this. You'll ask me, as for you, you're not rich. <laughs> Everything has its time, children. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. And Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 11. We shall read them, children, a smaller portion, and you understand why teacher Esther does not have a car at the moment. Tish does not have a house. But guess what? 
he who is inside of me is greater than the one in the world. I have a lot of peace children. I go and board my bus with all the joy. I do my train. Why? The Lord provides transport. I don't beg children. It is me who gives. That means I'm rich, children. With the little I have, that means I'm rich, children, okay? That is what it means. I am elaborating. I give you my own testimonies. They told me to stay away from people's testimonies, children. So I am giving my own. The others will give their own testimonies. Children! That is how it works. <laughs> Number six. Blessed, joyful, comma, nourished by God's goodness are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Children, when COVID started, teacher Esther was like, righteousness availability, originality, the word of God. Then we got a fifth, prayer as a lifestyle, and we have five. And you know, the other five, the ten girls, the virgin, the ten virgins, five were stupid, and the five were wise. Have you heard of that story, children? Everything is in five. <laughs> children, you've never noticed that everything is in five. Why? Because we have the five-fold ministries where your father falls. Your father is either a pastor. You hear people calling him pastor. You hear people calling him or oh, oh, her, your mother, father, pastor, or oh, apostle, or oh, evangelist, or oh, prophet, or oh, teacher. Children, you're supposed to respect all of the five who you don't only respect your father who is a pastor or your mother or your father mother who is a prophet or your father mother who is a, an apostle or your father mother who is a, a teacher or your father mother who is an evangelist you respect all the five children okay okay Number six, blessed, joyful, comma, nourished by God's goodness are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. That is in Isaiah. The Lord will make your foundation firm when you walk right with God. Children, the year began and on the 31st of December, 2019 my prayer was i want to walk right with god those who are there can witness can tell you what i was talking about all the time why because the lord had told teacher esther some of you call me teacher esther auntie esther mama esther in 2000 that unless i walk right with god i will get everything god has promised Children, if you walk right with God, try and do the right things all the time, it is not a loss, children. I tell you, I am the happiest human being on earth, children. Why? Because I chose. And righteousness is a process you grow. It is a process every day you repent. Why? Because the body does not get saved, children. It is your soul. You know the Bible says that you confess with your mouth and they believe in the heart. They don't say you confess with your fingers or your, your legs or your head. They say the heart. And the heart, it's only God that sees the heart, children. <laughs> Auntie Esther, teacher Esther, mama, Esther, Senga, Esther repents every day and gets saved every day. Why? Her body, her body needs taming. It can be bad. Why the devil loves attacking the body? Choku. Children. Number seven. Uh, uh, hold on. Number six. And thirsty for righteousness, those who actively seek right standing. When you are righteous, this is what happens. 
those who actively seek right standing with God. Actively meaning you're doing it every day. Those who actively seek right standing with God, for they will be completely satisfied. Children. Meaning being righteous is a process. You walk. The way you walk while you're going to school, you go, and now you're home, Bambi, you're not going to school. Don't you worry, the Lord is in charge. Now we have homeschooling. Make sure you pay attention when you're being taught at home. Why? Because you're going to sit the same exams you sit when you walk to go to school. Actually, children, you should be happy. Why? They reduced on your walking. Some of you, your parents don't have money to take you to school. You have to walk. Esther walked. We were staying in uh, Najana Kumbi, near Masanyalazi, and Esther would walk from there up to Chitevi Day and boarding primary school. In her nursery, she would walk from there up to kindergarten gym cart in Kabua. Then he walks from there up to Wankulukuku, go to Chitevi Day and boarding primary school. Then she walked from there for four years. She walked from there, up to, actually up to senior three. And I would walk from there up to Mengo Senior School. Then we moved and went to Mutundu. And we would walk from Mutundu to Mengo. Then from Mutundu to Caltech Academy. My siblings went to Makere University apart from my brother. Then Esther went to Chambogo University. Now imagine Esther. I walked from Chambogo to, to Kampala City Center. Then I found a relative who gave me transport. And I went home children. I am known as a senior jukotist. That's how we call them. You know a tortoise? Nakute and food. <laughs> that is how righteousness is. You do it actively. You seek it actively. And seek right standing with God. For they will be completely satisfied. Number seven, blessed content sheltered by God's promises are the merciful and they will receive mercy. Children, if you don't have mercy over somebody else, you will never see mercy in the eyes of God. Never. You sow a bean, you, take, you get beans and put in the ground and you water. It is the bean that grows. It is not maize, children, okay? Number eight, blessed, anticipating God's presence, spiritually mature. Ha, you know how our devotions are all about maturity in the spirit. You grow, eh, eh, banang, it is lovely indeed. Spiritually mature are the pure in heart. Those with integrity, moral courage, and godly character. For they will see God. Children, when some character. They don't backbite people, children. You don't sit with your siblings and you badmouth anyone. Badmouth means you're talking bad about your father, your mother, your siblings, and your friends in school. That means you cannot work with number eight. You're not pure in heart. Children stealing, you're not pure in heart. Children, hmm? Blessed, anticipating God's presence. When you are pure in heart, you anticipate God's presence and you will have spiritual maturity. You grow in the spirit. It's what I mean, children. The way you always celebrate your birthdays. There are people who celebrate birthdays in the Lord. Children. Those with integrity, moral courage, and godly character. Now, my friends, if you know you've been doing some of these things, you're young in the spirit. I told you now I'm saying it dive. First you said I backbite you and say you're spiritually immature. Yet I did not. I said something else. Now I'm doing it live. <laughs> Why? Because the Bible says so. You thought my spiritual maturity is what? It is in the Bible. It was never about a fight. It was about helping you grow in the spirit. There are some friends who come in our lives to help us grow in the spirit. Children, 
children, the word of God. When the, when you never defend yourself, children. Never. But if you know you did wrong, please apologize. And now in COVID-19, it has told to me even how I've always done it. I apologize when I've not done anything wrong, children. Don't wait for your friends. Don't wait for your mother or father to apologize to you. Do it yourself. Teach them. Teach them. It's what I call it. When you see that someone cannot do something, do it first. If someone cannot give, you give. Give them. Give them. Give them. Then they will learn that giving is good because it feels good when someone gives you something. I know how it feels to celebrate someone's birthday. Why? I've ever done it for myself. I did a birthday party for myself in when I was in my fourth year at the university. I have pictures. My OBs attended and OGs. I did a birthday party. It was one of the biggest things I've ever done in my life. And I, I sat down, he involved a few of my friends, and we bought it. And I invited my friends, and they came and they ate without <laughs> contributing. <laughs> Why? That is how Esther keeps her friends. Those are small things that keep friends together with love. Children, those are small things. Esther would do those things. Some people who don't know me don't know that I can do such. And I have evidence of pictures. Esther is like, let us surprise this one. Let us. Then she's like, let us give money. I did something for my family in 31st March. And that day was the last day. We had a big gathering with one of my family members who died in April. Esther just woke up and started running around. Esther runs around and stresses everyone. <laughs> She's like, please, my sister, do this. Please, don't worry. The money, the Lord will cover. And I have pictures. Seven, Tambi, Arnold, thank you so much. Luwa Mamukasa was the MC for that day. Thank you plenty. Edison Mwebe, thank you. Oh, Janice Mukuru for the food. I cannot thank you. I don't know how to do it. And Dokas, street cakes. May the Lord bless you. They made what I organized as something simple. We were celebrating birthdays and anniversaries. Oh, I have pictures. They ate food, I was told, that there are people who came in the night and still found food. I was like, you know how Esther eats pictures? My friends that always are standing the gap when Esther runs around, you're my feet, you're my eyes. I am humbled to know you. So children, blessed, that is what we are looking at, number eight. Blessed, anticipating God's presence, spiritually mature, are the pure in heart, those with integrity. It's only someone who is integrity that will not badmouth you. Integrity. <laughs> the Bible is very sweet. Moral courage and godly character, for they will see God. Children, you want to see God? Have integrity. Have moral courage and a godly character. That means your heart is pure. Number nine, blessed spiritually come with life joy in God's favor. The makers and maintainers of peace. <laughs> children, children, I posted something on my wall. There is a girl who got married and her marriage lasted for five months. And she said, the man kept, kept on saying, you talk a lot. You're very, I hear PK. I hear you. And the man gave very fake reasons as to why he never wanted. And yet when he was wooing her, amen. Singles, we have a session. And those who are married, but you are in your marriage and you feel single. Those are things you never learned, and now you're struggling in your marriage. Hey, hey, 
You know, I told you singles have things. They have things that are disturbing them and for you you're not paying attention. All the attention is taken to the marriage. I don't know what you learned when you were with Pastor Tom in the singles meeting. But come and we teach you because we have experts in those fields. We have experts. See, Pastor Tom trains an army through deliverance. But the Lord has chosen some people. It is their area of expert hearts. Wait and watch. Singles. We have a big, it is the first of the kind. Watch and see where we speak real things. Church, you have covered things for a long time. I don't want any of my friends to go back out there. You know those kodjas? Do you want me to mention one kodja who is trending in the social media? I hear we are going for, we are doing a bridal shower for you and we bring you kodja stones. He's doing his job and that is what he knows. And he's a young man. I respect him for his talent. But me, I don't want him for my bridal shower. Because in church we have men and women who can mentor us in the field. And they don't lie to us. They tell us the truth. Rest TV, you had a program. And I heard you bring the brothers to tell you. You're going to be shocked when the brothers come and tell you what they want. Girls, be brush yourself like this. Those boys, <laughs> they, matter, they play around with you because you want to come and cook, cook. Some of them sleep on you. I told you the word kadam is what some of the girls look like. You thought you're calling your friends abroad in, in Dubai kadam. That word is referred to every girl who goes to a man's place. You cook. They have not married you. You cook, you clean, then it, later he sleeps on you. He's not married to you. And then things don't work out. And he gets a queen. <laughs> Girls, that is a secret. You did not know. Mbu, he needs to know me before I get married. Hey, did you ask the Lord whether that's your husband? That is the real truth. They play around with you, sleep with you, yet he's busy molding the queen behind. Enjoy. I am not about to be like you. Mm -mm -mm. A king looks for a queen, and a queen crowns his, her king, and the king does the same. Esther was a queen. Did you see... Esther sleeping, sleeping around with the king when she's not yet married to him. The king, we are the queens. We have a group of ladies. We are the queens. <laughs> Look for Queen Ruth. I almost forget and call her Arenach. Mrs. Twande. <laughs> and how her mother said, oh, we thank God for COVID. Some people have learned how to intercede. <laughs> I love joking. Those are people that make my day. Hmm? Mrs. Apostle. All her pictures that come out just show a queen in her. Why? She knows her value. She's one person who just flies and goes to Rome and just takes a random picture and she posts her pictures. <laughs> queen Ruth. I'm happy to know who you are. At least I don't struggle with my friends that have bothered to learn. Children, you should have such friends. Who doesn't want a friend who flies all the time? <laughs> Children. Outside Jesus, you do not see those things. My friends whom I call queens, they love peace. They are peacemakers. <laughs> Everything about them is peace. All they want is peace. They don't want luma mongers. They don't like those things. They just step aside and look at you like this. You know that, you know the a picture came out and that woman who, I don't know how she does it. That's why she looks like this. <laughs> that 
to pay. Those, those are things that make Esther happy anyway. <laughs> In other words, it's saying it does like it. <laughs> that is how the queens who maintain peace look at you when you're playing with their peace. They no longer have time. They just leave you with your words and walk away. That is Esther for you, by the way, if you didn't know about that part. When you think you can disorganize the peace around her, and lately she does not say anything. I'm like, oh, you said what? Okay. I said what? Okay. And most of you are younger than me. I just feel like this. I think I'm, we are not in the same age bracket. And I walk out. Why? I am a peacemaker. I am a peacemaker. If I come in and wage war, I want to help someone and they don't fall a victim. This is how I wrote, Righteous Invasion of Truth. We are one body, a chosen generation. Children, that's how we wrote. We dance a lovely way. It is miracle center that had right to be, to be. Hey, tina, tina, tina. Find someone called Wampamba at Miracle Center. He was the, the head of the war, the Miracle Teens. The old Miracle Teens I'm talking about. The new ones, I'm not sure who is the... They danced and danced hard, those kids. They would wear the track shoots. Pastor Robert used to buy them uniforms who were just wah wah wah. They wear track shoots and wipe for the leg like this. The girl would swing the leg and I'm like... I miss those days. Children, the last one. Number nine. Peacemakers and maintainers. For they will express his character and be called the sons of God. Who doesn't want to be called a daughter or a son of God? I want children, if you want, you just wave your hand like this. Maintain peace at home. Don't disorganize your affairs. <laughs> Number 10. Blessed, comforted by inner peace and God's love are those who are persecuted for doing that which is morally right. For there is the kingdom of heaven, both now and forevermore. <laughs> children, children, that one I'll not explain. It is just enough to see it. Hey, Anang, Molokole, people who know God, read the Bible and be careful when you're doing things. It is not wise to start beating people and then you're like, hey, go away, Kalava, yes. Do you know that I've gotten several people who say they've walked the Lord with the Lord for some good time and they've said that statement? Like four people. They told it to me eye to eye. I was like, hey, is this the Lord we serve? The other one talked to a prophet. I hear you sleep with the Lord. I was like, hey, 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 my sister. I was like, hey, children. Children, please never say such words. Why we are different. Respect everyone. Submit to everyone. God left the day someone mentioned that. And for them, they don't know. Children, please don't fall victims. Don't. When you get annoyed, you go and read James 1 and verse 19. Don't allow. Be quick to listen and slow to speak when you are annoyed. And you asked me to help the women and the children and the men out there. This is me helping on a bigger scale. Esther helps on a, a bigger scale. Number 11. Blessed, morally courageous, and spiritually alive with life. Joy in God's goodness are uh, you when people insult you and persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil things against you because of your association with me. We shall stop there, children. <laughs> I recited this when I was between 9, 10, 11, and 12 years. But I never got to understand it. I was talking to one of my divine connection. 
the other divine connection is something else. The one that uh, saw Gulli saw Giant. I saw Giant, and she talked about Gulliver's travel. <laughs> this uh, divine connection, I wish I can release, and people get to know about the divine connection because, but the Lord has not allowed me to release the person. For you who think you know who the person is, you can think, but this one is on another level. Children, when you walk right with God, you can go to China in your house. Watch, watch, I'll leave my divine connection in the cover. Watch Apostle Wunjo. For Apostle Wunjo, if he's my divine connection, I just say he's my divine connection. But there is a special divine connection. You've never met, you don't know the divine connection. That one, you don't, no one knows the divine connection that I have. The Lord chose that divine connection. I have several, but this one is different. This one does not even need to sleep to see God. This one sees God all the time. Why? They chose to walk right with God. They chose to be right with God. Hey, the Lord can be amazing. I was like, Lord, can I be like this divine connection? Then later I remembered God does not bless photocopies. And the other divine connection is also like, can I be like you, Esther Mukade? The divine connection travels between countries. <laughs> and I'm like, ah. And everything they've seen has come to pass. And I've also seen, and there are people who saw long time ago and they are seeing again. They see things and I'm like, eh. <laughs> Some of you just know people who sleep and get the dreams. <laughs> you know Joseph was a dreamer, right? I told you Uganda giving birth to a hybrid who travels through. You know, I talked about a portal. Time travelers. Eh? You, you've just seen them in movies. Esther has met people who are time travelers. It is not just in movies. I myself, I see things when I'm here. I see Uganda, I see people talking and quarreling, and I'm like, hey. <laughs> and I'm like, Lord, what's not happening? <laughs> These time travelers exist, it's no longer a movie. The word of God, children, the Lord, there's nothing new under the earth. You thought it was movies just, Esther has lived to see reality in the movies she has watched. I told you when the portal opened, Esther sees angels in people. I watched a movie called Touched by an Angel, acted by, by that lady called Maya. And you would sit with an angel on the table. Esther has witnessed that children. I have divine connections in the U.S., in Africa, in Europe. Hey, children, that can only happen when you walk right with God. God bless you. I guess you enjoyed today's service. It was a special one, by the way. Very special because it came from my own experience as a child. You saw that boy that was reciting the entire Bible. The, the, the young boy who is the preacher who preaches like his father. I posted it on my wall. Some of you have that baby. Then I told you I can't wait for you on Saturday. Esther recited five. Matthew 5, when I was growing up. Because my father has the gift of writing his poetic. Like, my father has a gift. <laughs> something else. And it has helped us. It has helped me maintain my life in Christ. Parents, please borrow a leaf. Don't feel jealous. That's not how God works. You have a different calling. Help your children in your own calling. And if you don't, please let other people in the fivefold ministries help your children. When you have people in your church and they have different gifts, please allow them to teach so that your children can get a buffet. Don't be a one man's show. You're killing your own children when you are a one man's show.
thank you so much for coming thank you so much for those who are live with me those who share those who like those who do a watch party i am humbled may the lord bless you may the lord sanctify you may the lord increase you <sighs> children every saturday is our time i i always look forward to days with children because you are an amazing creature, child. I love babies. Thank you for coming. And I, I am humbled by parents who come with your children. Some don't even have children. They just come to help themselves because some of them never got an opportunity to go through Sunday school. I am humbled as a person. I am humbled as a person by you allowing my own siblings train your own children. That I cannot... I know people who have allowed my siblings teach your own children. You've worked with my siblings and uh, you really love my siblings and you're proud of them. I am humbled. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. May the Lord bless you. Those who approach my mother for counsel, those who, my dad lately, a few words, but those who met my dad back in the day and he counseled you and whatever he said to you helped you. I am humbled. I am humbled. I am humbled. Thank you so much, my obis and OGs who believe in me, who think there is something that is I have and it can help your children. I'm always humbled. Let us uh, pray, and I leave you. It is already. Uh, it is. It is 7 a.m. here, which I think is 2 p.m. in Uganda. Allow me to leave you with... Uh, we are going to sing one song, children, then we leave. I don't know the song fully, but it's the Proclaim music that sang the song. It is one of the songs that helped me out. Let me see if I can get it. I don't know whether... Let me look for them on Facebook, but I don't know how I'll get that song. You are my help, Lord. There's no fear in me. I will rise again. You are my help, Lord. Uh, I did not get the full. Let me see if I can get that song. Proclaim music. You can look for them on YouTube. And children, if you meet Uncle Paul Chuanuka, especially those who go to Yesu Akwagala Ministries, please tell him I said happy birthday. He's the father to Pastor Isaac Sebliva. That is the man I know that preached to my dad back in the day. I respect him with a passion because if he had not spoke to my dad about Christ, I don't know whether I would have been given birth to. I respect that family with a passion. Happy birthday, Tata Paul Chuanka. And happy birthday to everyone out there who made a birthday. We love you. We pray for you. And we are humbled to know you. Proclaim music. I don't know that I'll get a song because uh, when I go to YouTube, they cut out some things, so I don't want to go there. But if you get that song, play play the song and sing. Uh, sing along with your children. It is one song that really helped me out. It has grew. It has helped me out. If I get that song, I will play it some other time for you. I have it somewhere, but it, I didn't look for it. It just came back to my mind. You are my help, Lord. There's no fear in me. I will rise again. You are my help, Lord. Lord, I thank you for this time. You are faithful, Lord. There is no one like you. 
I thank you for your word. I seal it with the blood of Jesus. Father, teach us more of your word. Give us the grace to respect one another in our fields of study, in our callings, especially with the fivefold ministries. Lord, help us. Help us grow in the spirit. Father, I pray for the children, those who are on life and those who will watch later with their parents. Father, give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Let them know you on a deeper level. Because the Bible says that unless you're like a young child, you can never inherit the kingdom of God. Lord, help us as a nation help us as the world help america help canada help australia help africa help europe help asia lord help uganda as the pearl of africa help us lord help us lord so that we get out of this uh, look this this covid 19 season when we are winners when we are victorious. Thank you, my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I give you praise. I give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I pray for Sunday. I pray for all the services that are going to happen worldwide. Father, through those services, deliver people, anoint people, speak to your people, Lord. They are willing and ready to listen. You're taking us into the baby steps to teach us how things work, to start growing in the spirit because we've done things the wrong way. Lord, help us. Help us understand things the right way. We thought we knew, but when COVID-19 came, a bubble was busted that we've never been saved. And we all need to repent and give our lives to Christ afresh. This is a season where you're teaching our own parents to learn who we are. This is the season where you're allowing children to tell their parents how they feel, how they've treated them for years. Because many children are, do not connect with their parents. But Lord, this season has come for us to understand that it is all about you. And I pray that people understand and walk right with you and do things the right way. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. Amen. Thank you for coming. Enjoy your week as it is going on. Please go and attend the different uh, functions. But still, don't forget, we have Abigail with uh, Pastor Sarah. Apostle Sarah Bunjo, please uh, attend. We have Push is still there. Pastor Mark Chigos is there. Auntie Mo has been there, I believe. So today you don't have never give up. It is It normally happens in the week. But Rest TV is there. Church, if you don't learn how to support your people in church, no one is going to support them. Google Day TV is there. Channel 44 is there. We have impact. There are many channels in Pentecostal things. It is time to support your own. It is time to support your own. To support the gospel music singers. Those gospel music singers are failing. Why? Because you don't support them and they think the other side is where they should go. Most of the people are outside singing in the secular world. They started in church. Now, let me talk to you. I will talk to you on Sunday. This was a children's session. Children, when the Lord starts growing you in the singing field and it's in church, please stay in church. Out there, there is a big chivoko. And after COVID-19, they don't survive the wave. Have a lovely day.